All right, money makers. Um, I know y'all are waiting on part two of the Kanika and Whitney Houston connection. Please believe it is coming. But I just really just wanted to talk about the discovery of Kanika. On the footage, we get the cocktail manager discovering her. Now, the thing that just don't sit well with me is this man used keys, okay? He used keys to unlock the freezer. So, therefore, if an investigation was going to be done properly, the first question is, who locked the freezer? So, they want us to believe that Kanika stumbled through the hotel for about an hour or two, wandered her way in the kitchen area, made her way to the freezer, unlocked it, opened not one but two doors. Let me back up. So she... Cut the freezer on, cut the light on, unlocked it. Now, walk through not one, but two doors. Came back out. Put the lock on it. And I guess she time traveled or shape shifted her way through the doors and laid there and froze herself to death. Okay. Yeah, that makes plenty of sense. Plenty, plenty of sense. Now, this is the footage that they're showing us. Okay, we are not making this up. This is what y'all giving us to believe. An accidental death. <laughs> that don't sound so accidental to me. Because, like I said, who put the lock on the freezer that required a key to unlock. Hmm. Wow. Really? That's no. We're not going to believe that. So, that lets us know that no, Kanika was not by herself in that kitchen area. Okay? And like I keep telling y'all, which is the only part of the footage that really matters to me because... When she walks around that corner, I don't care from the day they released it. I have seen two hands grab this girl. You can see the person in black kind of step out. And y'all know what? If y'all can stick around just a few minutes... I'm going to play some clips to show you who I believe it was, okay? Now, back to this lock thing. So, the man, when he went around, he unlocked the um, freezer. And, I mean, this was like a matter of seconds. So, when he opened the freezer and nothing or no one was in the first area why would he proceed to go to the second area and to me he did it like super duper fast okay so does that mean that when he opened the first door the second door was not closed as they said it was because if he just opened the front the first door and immediately turned around and went and got an officer that had to be, like, standing right there at the door. Because as soon as he walked out, he walked right back in. You know, it just does not make sense. There was two, I don't, I guess, it was just, there was just too perfect, you know. Like, oh, hey, officer, yeah, there you go. You know, like, nah. So, now, answer me this. Was the second door of the freezer open or closed? Because it would make a big difference. 
because I'm quite sure if the second door was open then there's no way that the freezing process would have you know taken place which it didn't take place it didn't take place at all okay like that didn't happen but just going along with what they said if the second door was open the freezing process wouldn't have happened like that because it would have went into the cooler and now the freezer and the cooler you know are running at two different temps and the cooler is going to be warmer than the freezer freezer okay so if the door was open then some of that co uh, cold air would have been traveling through the open door into the cooler area so that is you know twice the size of the room that is it has to freeze opposed to what it's usually you know freezing the area that is usually freezing now it's trying to kick out more to cool off the other part too so that wouldn't have happened properly like the way they made it seem and like I said it really didn't seem like he went in the freezer door closed he went through the second door and nothing like that because you don't know that just doesn't work for me mm -mm. so I mean y'all gotta ponder on that like how no 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 so then when the officer come in you know they just come in just boom bam and and it's like everybody's just pretty much standing there talking, laughing. Nobody's putting no tape out. Nobody's, you know, doing anything like nothing. Then when other people come, I seen one guy with a light looking up under stuff. And I'm like, you're just looking to see if anybody dropped anything, you know, because there was a 19 hour gap between them taking her around that corner and the first guy steps in then like 20 minutes later the man comes around the corner you know because you can't say that the guy was calling in like hey I found the body because he never walked to the freezer he was at the edge of that little table and and I don't even think he was calling anybody you know on a walkie talkie so I don't even think that that's um, you know, like a, a accurate train of thought, like an accurate statement. Like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say because this shit don't make sense and ain't nothing to describe it, but it don't make sense. And, you know, because, like, that's what people were saying, that he was calling in. How? What was he calling? Like, hey, look, I think the free zone and it don't supposed to be on. Like, what would he have said because he never walked to the freezer? And if it was locked, then how would he have gotten in to the discover something wasn't right? Because if the freezer was locked, and it's supposed to be locked, then what would he be calling in? Do that make sense? Yeah. To me, that makes sense. What would he be calling in? Nothing. If everything looks normal, why would he have something to report? So, no. That, that, nah. So we can throw that out about him calling to report the incident. Because you can't see inside the damn freezer way back there. And she's in the second part of the freezer. And the door's not open. And it's supposed to be locked. I'm just saying. I'm just going off the shit they give us. Now, if it don't make sense to you, you need to take this up. Rosemont and Chicago and Teresa and the friends and, you know, just take it up with them. Because this is what they giving us. And I'm just saying that that ain't adding up. It's not. So, alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all the clip of the dude running out and and I asked you know like in other videos you know like what the hell was he doing who was he doing but to me 
I think this is the dude that really was in the kitchen area. And I am going to um, do another video on that soon. So y'all stay tuned for that.